and did not allow an earned run. Uh, got a no decision there, however, as Walker swings and misses at the one, two. And, that, and here's the pitch on the way, and swung on and missed, strike three. So, bookend strikeouts here in the second for Jaroska. And over the chance, three, one, pitch on the leads. Hits this one high and deep to left, going back. Murphy at the track, at the wall, it's gone. A three-run home run for Matt Leeds, and the Cougars blow it wide open here in the bottom of the second. It's 5 nothing. This one up the middle could be two. Hollard a mace up for one on the henna at first, and a nice stretch by Ross. As they complete the twin killing, it goes 6-4-3, Looks Gant back here to pay off pitch to lead. Strokes this one the other way down the line at the track. At the wall, it's gone. A two-run home run for Matt Leeds the opposite way. His second long shot of the game. And the Cougars extend their lead back to five. It's seven to two. Leadoff man for the Cougars here at the bottom of the fifth. And Aldrich takes the first pitch he sees high and deep to right center field. Gulbrinson is back at the track at the wall. It's gone. A solo home run for Daniel Aldrich, his seventh on the season. And it's 8-2 to two, College of Charleston. Pitched. Swing and a miss there as Jarosko ties a career high with seven strikeouts. And a swing and a miss there as now Jarosko with a new career high, eight strikeouts, and he had two more pitch. This one hit in the air on a line, and Jamie Halder hauls it in. And that will do it for the ball game as Robert Harding closes it out and the Cougars are victorious tonight eight to four over the Jacksonville Dolphins. Your final line score for the Cougars, eight runs on six hits, one error. Jacksonville, four runs on eight hits and one error. Robert Jarosko gets the win, he moves two and one on the season.